Thank you for tuning in to Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. Here we inspire and deal with topics that matter. Stay tuned. Cleaning out the closet. That is the quote we going to feast on. Now, the best kind of people are the ones that come into your life and make you see the sun where you once saw clouds. The people that believe in you so much, you start to believe in you too. The people that love you, simply for you being you. The once in a lifetime kind of people. It's time for y'all to clean out the closet. Meaning people that are in your life that don't add to it. Period. Enhance who you are, what you want to do, or who you desire to be. Please start singing. In the box, in the left. Everything toxic in the box to the left. That means toxic friendships, families, enemies, and foes. They all go in a box to the left. Many of you have leeches attached to you. They are Debbie Downers. They never have anything positive to say. They are drama filled. They are always complaining. I know y'all know people like that. They don't have nothing going good for themselves. And they hate on everything and everybody. Anybody that's stepping out of their comfort zone to do something or self-improvement, they got an issue with it. They find an issue with it. And if they have something going for themselves, you know these people too. They have the crab in the barrel syndrome. They get jealous of people that they feel is about to outshine them. Baby, that's a no-no. Why can't we all eat from the same table? It's room for all of us. Now, if you're under the sound of my voice, I know that y'all know somebody like that. I know you do. I have witnessed toxic families, toxic people in action. But, oh, I digress. It's tough in this world trying to make it. But then to add toxic people to the menu, child please, <laughs> that comes with a capital no. Now here are a few tips on how to deal with toxic people. Number one, identify the toxicity and don't make excuses for it. Many times we make excuses when people show us negative behavior. <laughs> no, don't make excuses for it. The first step of getting rid of something or someone toxic is actually recognizing the fact that it's harming you. Put some distance between you and them. Second, be firm. Set boundaries. We have to set boundaries. A lot of us say we have boundaries and then we cross our own boundaries. Set boundaries and be firm. You know, people that are toxic are very manipulating. <laughs> yeah. Very manipulated. I'm going to leave that right there. So just recognize what they coming with and be firm and be like, nope, boo boo. Mm -mm. You, you can't go across this line. There's a consequence for going pro, uh, past this line. There has to be consequences. Realize it is not your job to save them. We are not Jesus. <laughs> we are not Jesus. Although many people try to play Jesus, we are not Jesus. Toxic people are great at showing up when they need something, particularly during crisis moments in their own lives. And once they get what they want, bye-bye. <laughs> Most of the times they leave. You don't hear from them until something else is going on. And then what? They know your number by heart. Ending a relationship is like a death of a thing. Grieve how you choose, but baby, move on. Start afresh. New friendships and relationships. Open yourself up to people that value you and bring you happiness and let go of those things that bring you anything less. And my final message. Realize and accept that you deserve to be happy regardless of the hand that you were dealt in life. Baby, 
You deserve to be happy. Life is too short. I know people use that all the time. But it is true and it's based on facts. Life is too short to be putting up with foolishness. Surround yourself with people that really love you, that accept you for you, and that is rooting for you. And I'm going to leave it right there. Bye. Thank you, Bringing the Heat listeners. To listen to this podcast, go to anchorfm.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play, where we bring the heat.